They only sell 99 of these at Yankee Stadium per game. Let's try it out. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. We are on our way to the infamous Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, New York for New York Yankees game. We are going to be trying a bunch of new food items at Yankee Stadium and having a great time representing New York. Let's go. So if you take the train in, this is how you get to Yankee Stadium. We'll show you little fun travel tips. I actually didn't know this. They are checking your train tickets to get off the train, which is so interesting. <laughs> we have ours on our phone here. All right, so we just showed our train tickets. Now we're headed. You see it right there, Yankee Stadium. It's really easy and awesome that the train is right outside of the stadium like this. Because parking in the Bronx is just madness, honestly. And here we are. Such a quick and easy walk. You just walk down these stairs. There it is. Outside the stadium, they have a little field here. It's cute. We're just walking down this path. It's April 15th, by the way, and the Yankees are taking on the Minnesota Twins today. I will say it's really cool about New York Yankee games. Everybody is supporting New York in some way, shape, or form. Knicks jerseys, Rangers jerseys, just general New York shirts like this. And we have arrived. It's 11.50, the game starts at 1.05. They anticipate long lines. Look at all the lines, but not too bad right now. All right, folks, we're in. We're gonna try to get that Judge Burger because we're so early, and I'll explain what that is when we get there. All right, we gotta go up to section 223. All right, we're gonna check out the field first because our seats are like all the way up there, so we might as well see and check out the field while we're while we're down close by. I think these are the Twins players here. This is really cool. You can eat without leaving your seat with Uber Eats. If you download Uber Eats, they'll deliver food right to your seat. This is really, really cool. It's crazy how it's 2023 and the weather technology is not advanced enough yet to actually predict the weather. They said it was gonna be stormy, cloudy, and cold, and it is hot and sunny. All right, here's Bobby's Burgers. These are Bobby Flay's Burgers. You guys know Bobby Flay from the Food Network. He has a little burger stand here. Let's see how much they are. About $15, it looks like. Actually, right next to Lobel's, which we had at our last Yankee game. Be sure to check out that video. I'll link it in the description. We're gonna try out something different today, though. So this Judge Burger, they only sell 99 burgers at the whole, throughout the whole entire game. Every game, 99 burgers. That is it for the whole entire stadium. I have seen that the line is so long. So we're gonna see what it looks like. They have a little countdown clock to show how many they actually sold. So let's check it out. And the 99 is of course for Judge, number 99. All rides, as they said. All right, me and Joey have a bet. I say that they're gonna be sold out if not close to 99. Joey says, no way, nobody's eating yet. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Look, here's the line, here's the line. All right, they sold 59 so far. This is actually like pretty cool, I won't lie. We sold 59 burgers so far. Here's the line. I don't know if we're gonna make it. We're cutting it pretty close. Oh my God, the burger is $20. Okay, so you order it on this side and then I guess you pick it. But what if they run out? I guess they're no, right? The person in the line for them. Okay. I won the bet. Joey, yes, we got the burger. You said it'd be sold You out. just said, I'm shocked they already sold 59. So the line to pick it up is like longer than the line to order. Look at the line to pick it up. It's crazy. So this is what it is, by the way. It's actually a really, really cool concept and gets people to buy a $20 burger. Because you get the exclusive, only 99 all day long. We got it, we're number 72. It seems like a common misconception is that people are waiting on this line to order, but you have to know that that's the order line. So they're up to 78. Wow, it's pretty crazy. By the way, it is 12.11. Okay, so apparently they have one ninety-nine today. It's the first opening day they did ninety-nine, but the rest of the days I think they're doing one ninety-nine. Still, rare, rare item. They're already at eighty-one, and it's only twelve fifteen. The game's at one o five. All right, going to get a chicken sandwich for Joey. <laughs> He's gonna wait. 
They're at 96. All right, where is the chicken sandwich? 213, all right. Oh, they hit it, woo! 99. Oh, I think it might be a Lobel's burger. Look, they have the Lobel's box. Okay, well, I guess we are getting Lobel's. Is Lobel's the judge burger? I don't know, this is it. This place looks cute, mac and cheese truck. They got some mac and cheese. All the other lines in the stadium are like nothing. Good to know they have tables kind of near the 99 burger if you want to eat. Look at this, Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle. All right, we're here at Fuku going to try out the OG spicy chicken sando and waffle fries. Here are the prices, by the way, $15.99 for the waffle for the sandwich and $8.99 for literally french fries. Here they are. They don't even need to play the game. Like, I'm having so much fun already. Oh, there's Joey at the front of the line. Wait, can we talk about how they went back down to zero? All right, here's the $16 chicken sandwich. And this is new this year to Yankee Stadium as well. Here's what it looks like. All rise. Here it is, everybody. The Aaron Judge Burger, 99. So they say, sold per game. All right, it's 12.39. Let's see if this burger was wet. worth $20 and all that time here at the Yankee. I got no burger. It's messy. Oh my, I got a burger on my cheek. I will say that's pretty good. It's really juicy. I have burger on my cheek still. I kind of like this. I'm not usually a crazy burger person, but this is actually really delicious burger. That sauce is amazing. It's their secret sauce. I gotta know what that is, but that's pretty good. How's that chicken sandwich? The sauce on it, super spicy. It looks spicy. You look like you're in pain. Is Very it good, good though? though? Yeah. Good. Nice and crispy. What about the fries? Do they taste like jalapenos? No? No. They don't even look like they have any jalapenos on it. No. All right, I'm gonna try one of these fries. They were they were nine dollars. Fries? Yeah. What? Seriously? All right, it's almost game time. We gotta go up to our seats. Give my little flag. All right, so this is the 300 concourse. If you're in the 400 section, it's still this concourse, but you just go up. Look how cute this is, the kids clubhouse. That's adorable, it's a little playground. It's right outside of section, right outside of section 310. Here's our section 308. Our tickets were only like 60 bucks each, so we get what we get, we don't get upset. Hey, these aren't too bad, right? Yeah, these are nice. I'm not mad at it. I think the Uber Eats food delivery is only for those 100 sections down there because we don't have those cards in our seats. So good to know if you want to get Uber Eats delivery, sit in the 100 section. This is our first game where they have the pitch clock rule in the MLB now. So we'll see how long this game actually takes. I think it's really good. Like I'm, I'm a fan of the pitch clock. It makes it go faster, you know, it speeds it up. You can see it over there. Where is it? The batter can see it back there. Yeah. Oh, there's the pitch clock, right? There. One, two, Three strikes, so out. He's out of here, buckos. I really just support all New York teams, besides the Islanders. But if I had to pick a favorite Yankee, I think it would be this guy Rizzo, just because I really like his name. Like Rizzo from Greece. All right, I'm going to find milkshakes in section 324, just to see what they look like, see if I want one. Oh no, I missed a home run. I got my milkshake, I missed a home run. All right, I'm just gonna get a shake now that I, uh, Missed a home run for it. You want to eat in Yankee Stadium? Bring money. This water is like six dollars too. So. Here it is. I like it. Vanilla. There were three different options. I got the vanilla one. It has a very strange aftertaste. Was it worth seventeen dollars? Probably not, but. We tried it, because it's new. My guy hit a home run! That's my guy, Joey! That's my guy, Rizzo! I washed out my milkshake cup. Don't really recommend the milkshake, but it's all right. We got to try it. That's what matters. Oh my God, a bowl just came in our section over there. Oh, I gave it to the kid. That's so nice. Yay! 
What a good guy. Looks like they're throwing out the Yankee picture. It could be for illegal substances. The thing about being at Games Live is you don't, like, you can't hear what's going on. So, like, we're looking up on Twitter, like, what exactly is happening. Because they don't announce it or anything like that. Oh, they missed it. Oh, they threw out the Twins coach. Yeah, well, how would we know that? We can't even see. They should, they should say it. All right, bottom of the fifth. Four nothing Yankees. I've noticed that they aren't doing like as much interactive things on the scoreboard as usual. Find the ball under the cap game. Are you kidding me? I right as I said it, they put that on. What the heck? That is so weird. YMCA time. That's what time it is. Go ahead, Joey. Pop off. It's fun to stay at the. Whoa! Yankees got a new pitcher in, even though they're winning. Michael King. You see King? We'll sit. Oh, Yankees win! Start, start, start spreading the news! Start spreading the news! So long, Yankees. It's been Real Yankee Stadium. Thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Crystal Palace for more fun adventures. The highlight of my day was definitely getting that Judge Burger. That was awesome. I do recommend it. And it was tasty too. See you guys in the next one. Peace.